Good morning. Welcome, everybody. I want to um, kind of welcome you into another space in my home, from my home to yours, for meditation this morning. This is the very furthest part of my home, um, very, very back part of my home. It's just a little cutout space for me to um, practice meditation and yoga back here. It's very secluded, um, and it's just a beautiful space to uh, be alone and uh, meditate and connect with God and it's always so nice to find different nooks and crannies in your home for just a new different uh, space to meditate so welcome to my other space of meditation here I'm gonna go ahead and get started here but first as you know all of you that's been joining me that I have a unity candle that I will light again today and um, just as a reminder friends that uh, the more unified we are the more beautiful life is, and that one day, as you see the candle here, we will be holding each other again physically, being in the presence of each other physically, um, and probably valuing it more than we ever have in our life. Beautiful. So thank you for those of you that can join me for meditation this morning. Go ahead and find your spot, uh, find your shape. For some of you, you'll be seated like me. If you're in a seated posture, you'll want to sit up nice and tall, friends. The alignment of your spine is as important as your breath. So sit up nice and tall. We're going to meditate for about 15 minutes together. It's just a beautiful way to start your day, a beautiful way to set intentions, to, to calm your spirit and to energize your soul and to really just connect with God and, um, and just uh, be in a beautiful space. So placing your hands on your knees if you're in a seated posture. Um, I also want to share with you before we get started that my kids have been having their their kids listen to meditation, which is absolutely amazing. I'm going to do a, a small um, couple kids yoga classes that I will be posting as well for my grandkids to be doing yoga. And if you guys are interested, let us know, and I will get you the link to the YouTube for your kids to do yoga. I've already asked for requests for songs from my grandkids. So if you have children that are interested in doing yoga, um, or meditation and they have some favorite songs um, remember I'm a spin master I can take current songs and any any genre of songs and spin it to be some positive um, inspiration that will go along with my theme so that'll be coming soon um, all right so great um, again if you can last a minute five minutes uh, my grandkids lasted eight minutes yesterday meditating. One of them said they did it while they were walking with their kids. One of them sat completely still. Whatever um, works for you, friends, the deep breath, the intentional um, setting of mindsets is what the whole goal here is for meditating. So with that being said, if you're in a seated posture, hands at your knees, nice and tall, shoulders down from your ears. If you're laying down, place your hands down by your sides with your palms facing up. And then if you're walking or hiking or getting ready for work um, or even tending to your kids, but you have this on, just um, begin to connect with us and your breath. And take your first nice deep inhale through your nose, nice deep exhale through your nose. Beautiful. So as you take your next inhale and breathe in, feel your chest rise. Really feel it rise and fill up. Feel your ribs expand through your back. And feel the oxygen flow all the way down to your lower belly. Nice, deep breath. Good morning, people, as you hop on. It's so good to have you this morning. Thank you for joining. So as you take your next inhale and breathe in, breathe in a four to five second inhale through your nose. Nice, deep breath, calming breath. Breathe it in. And as you exhale through your nose, nice, deep exhale, at least a four to five seconds. Six seconds or seven if you can. The exhale calms that spirit, calms your body, your physical body, your emotional body, your spiritual body. And let's do that again. Nice deep inhale, breathe it in. Nice deep exhale through your nose. Now begin to create a rhythm, a rhythm of your own. Just allow it to flow. And I will share with you um, the verse for meditation. Excuse me. Uh, our intention this morning, not the first yet, is really just about practicing the presence of God in your life versus practicing your problems. Practicing the presence of God in your life versus
versus practicing your problems. And what does that kind of look like, friends? So just breathe. And notice, how does that make you feel? One might say, I don't practice my problems, but if your intention and your worries and your mind and your thoughts are constantly on your problems, that's practicing your problems. So we want to practice, at least for these next 5, 10, 15 minutes, we want to practice connecting with God, feeling the presence of God and all the beauty that comes with that. It's just that simple this morning, that simple. So let's just breathe together for a few moments. Inhaling and exhaling. Allowing that breath to just freely flow. Some people call finding your happy space, find your happy. My message today I'm wearing says find your happy. Our soul's deepest happy is connecting with God, our spirit, spirit to spirit. That's like a deep, happy contentment. And it takes practice, friends. It does. It doesn't just happen. Your breath just happens, okay? You inhale, you exhale. That happens. But intentional breathing, what we're doing now, is practice. It takes practice. Breathe it in. Nice deep inhale. Feel those lungs. Exhale. This morning in meditation, we are going to practice the presence of God, connecting with God. First, practice the presence of our problems. They're going to go aside, go away. They're going to go on pause. That's right. They're going to go on pause. So I had a conversation this morning with my daughters. We have started to um, share devotionals in the morning just because we kind of can at this time. And we were chatting about this. And how everything in life is a practice, right? We didn't come here knowing what we're doing in any fashion, in any way, shape, or form. We, did, we come here and we practice life. That's why they call it a journey. We're just on a journey through life and practicing how to live right. This morning, let's practice letting the light in. Letting down the walls. Letting the beautiful light of God and his presence in. So kind of breathe on that for a moment. Just breathe it in. What would that feel like if we truly just let the light in? comes to my mind as I'm thinking about this is that the more light you let in, there's just no room for darkness. There's just not room. So let's practice letting the light in. Practice connecting with God. And then begin to notice what you feel. Do your shoulders melt down a little bit more with the ex exhale? Does your face soften because you're letting go of the stress and the focus of your problems? And your practice in life has shifted? Create a beautiful mantra for today so as you go through your day, you continue to practice connection. So maybe you breathe in, let the light in. Let it in, friends. Let the light in. Breathe it in. 
And with the exhale, we let go of problems and darkness. Sometimes we put just way too much focus on problems. And sometimes if you can just shift your focus, your day, your practicing in life, your journey, to connecting with God and listening. What does he say in the soft voice when you're quiet? Here, my heart hears words like, here's my peace I'm offering to you. Let it in. Breathe it in. If you're lonely, here's my friendship. Here's my love. Breathe it in. Let my light in. If you're hurting and you're sad, here's my comfort. Breathe it in. Let it in. Practice connection with God. So we're going to take the next 30, 45 seconds and just breathe. Just breathe. Listen to your heart as it connects with God, as we practice connecting spirit to spirit. Let it speak to you. Maybe take a couple breaths and kind of connect with uh, what keeps you from letting your walls down to letting the light in. So having that true spirit to spirit connection. To living life where you're like this, heart wide open, heart wide open. Inviting the connection, the light in. It's in that space, friends where your spirit comes alive because it has found it's happy. It's when your soul is dancing because it's found it's happy, it's contentment. It's when your heart is at peace because it's found it's true happy and contentment. Connection, spirit to spirit. Feel the rhythm of your breath. Breathe it in nice and deep. Even on the inhale, feel yourself kind of lengthen through your crown. And on the exhale, feel the shoulders melt down. The crown stays extended here, reaching up, friends. Shoulders down, heart opening more. What does your mind's eye see? What is your heart speaking to you? Life is a practice. We come here learning and growing. Connection with God. It takes practice because guess what? When times get hard, you either lean in or you put walls up. Friends, let's lean in. Lean in. Heart wide open. Let the light in. Everything. 
Everything in life takes practice. Everything. Anything you want to be good at, right? Even the most natural things take practice. You want to love well, it takes practice. You want to have an elevated relationship with God, it takes practice. You want to be able to meditate past one or two minutes without your mind wandering from everything that has um, to go on for the rest of the day, it takes practice. You want to see the beauty in life, it takes practice, shifting your focus from your problems to the beauty. So friends, as we continue to breathe together collectively, inspirational breathing, intentional breathing, Notice your breath now from the beginning of practice. For some of us, it might be uh, calmer. You might feel even more connected to your breath as it flows, as it inhales and exhales. Your heart, your spirit, your mind may feel more at peace because of this intentional breathing and the intention of practicing connection, spirit to spirit, with God. Some of you may feel a little more anxious because you're letting the walls down. And sometimes that is a little scary. I understand that. But friends, we're inviting light in. You need to make space for it. So exhale. Let go of practicing your problems. Make space for the light. Breathe it in. So let's do a couple intentional practice of breath by inhaling to the top of your breath all the way up. Breathe it in four to five seconds through your nose. And at the top, pause. Just pause here. Feel so full of light. And then as you exhale with the breath and you just let it all go, let it all out. At the bottom of your breath, just pause. Beautiful. Let's do that again. Inhale at the very top of your breath. Breathe in as much light and beauty as you can at that top of that breath. Just pause here. And then exhale all the way out to the bottom of your breath. We're going to come into our final song, friends. Let your breath come back to more natural paced breathing. And as you continue to breathe here together, this song has such beautiful lyrics that talks about just letting the light in. I want in your mind's eye for all of us to just imagine and connect with practicing our relationship, our connection with God, feeling yourself with that light, first practicing our problems and allowing that anxiety for some of this darkness to stay inside. No room for it. Let it go. Feel the peace. Imagine in your mind's eye the hands reaching out to offer exactly what you need. The moment you allow your spirit to connect, spirit to spirit, letting that light in, letting that peace in, letting that love in. Letting the hope in. 
letting that courage in. Breathe it in. Open up, let the light 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 in. So I'm going to go ahead and close in prayer. If you're in a seated posture, you could bring your hands to heart center and bow your heads. If you're in a laying down posture, you can roll to your side if you'd like, and then meet us up in a seated posture. Dear God, thank you so much for each and every person that could join this morning and take a few moments out of their day to just connect, to breathe and feel the power and strength and simple breath and take time to practice connection with you. As we inhale and let the light in, the love in, the hope in, the peace in, the encouragement in, there'll be no room for problems in darkness. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Peace, you guys. Thank you for joining me in my um, little meditation area back here in the very back side of my home. Um, tomorrow is Good Friday. I hope you'll join me tomorrow night. Um, it's a special day, friends, a real special day. Find your happy. Peace. <laughs>